everybody. Diamonds by Tita here. Thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for a few minutes as I do uh, this Timu haul of diamond paintings. And I do have uh, an accessory that I will go over as well. Um, uh, yeah, I got a big bag of Timu in today. Uh, so this is part one. I don't know how many parts there'll be. Um, at least two, maybe three. It all just, just all depends. So again, I want to welcome you all in. All my returning viewers, thank you so much for coming back. I'm glad you like the content and you enjoy my videos and my channel. And if you're brand new, I'm so glad that you, you found my channel. And I really hope that you like this. Uh, if you do, please consider subscribing and um, maybe dropping a comment and doing a thumbs up. Kind of all that YouTube stuff. So thanks so much again. So we'll go ahead and um, get started. Um, I am going to just do the accessories just real quick. And you've seen these before because I use them, but because I bought it, I thought I would show it. These are uh, the little trays that I like. And I'm sorry, I don't remember the price. I think they were like, oh, I don't know, like a dollar or 49 or something. They were very inexpensive. I'll put all the links down, but these are just the little plastic trays that have got the little funnel on it. So I use these quite a bit. I like these a lot. So those are them. And then um, I'm gonna move on to just a little small painting. I don't often get 20 by 20s or 20 by 30s. Um, I tend, I mean, 30 by 40 usually, usually is the smallest that I get, but I really like this. And I think I saw another creator show this, and I just really like this. And this is a 20 by 30, and I think it's going to come out just fine. Again, I won't know for certain until I actually, you know, drop drills on it. Let me just... I think there's enough light for you guys on this. Okay, so this is just a little a little bird on some books with some flowers. And again, this is a 20 by 30. There's 16 colors in it. And the legend is all letters. But I thought this would be a nice one to do in between the big paintings. Yeah, my lighting is getting, since it's starting to get fall, I'm not getting as good a light in the afternoon. But I think that one's going to be clear enough that you can see it. And I'm only going to show one of the kits. This is what they all come with. The green boat, a plate of wax, and just one of these pens. Now, you certainly can um, do time and painting just with this. Um, I started out with my first one. It was very similar to this, except I had a little white boat um, and just one tray. But having said that, if you want to invest in just a little bigger tray like this, that could make your whole your life a whole lot easier. Just a suggestion, don't have to do it, don't have to buy anything extra, but it may make things easier. And the same thing with a pen. Um, this one I got through Timu. I don't remember how much it was, it was a few dollars. It wasn't very expensive, and that might be more comfortable for your hand. So just know that you certainly can do everything if you're a beginner with this. But having a couple extra accessories can make things more comfortable for you. So I just wanted to throw that out. And I uh, just want to show you the drills real, real quick. I'm going to take these out because there's not very many of them. I won't be taking drills out for all these paintings. But I thought that I would show these because the colors are so very pretty. Aren't those colors just beautiful? Really pretty. 
And I want to try just my other light. Yeah, that shows the colors a lot better. Let's try this light, and hopefully I can get the, um, the reflection off it. So there we go. And of course, these are all in rounds. I don't think I have any squares at all. And I'm sorry for the crinkling if that if that's upsetting to you. Um, I know the majority of people that I pull either don't mind the sound or they actually like it. But if it does cause issues, just fast forward through those parts. And I'll hold this up so you can see it without the glare. I thought he was cute. Okay, so that takes care of that one. Now the next one, I'm not certain if everybody's gonna necessarily like this, but if you're a Doctor Who fan, you'll know what this is. Okay, this is the TARDIS from Doctor Who. This is a time traveling police box. And if you've never seen Doctor Who, I think it's on, I think it's on like Brit Box, because um, this is a, a British show, and it's been on for like, oh, I think since like the 60s. But the current ones, if you start off with the doc, Doctor Number 11, uh, David Tennant, that would be a good one to start with. Anyway, I love Doctor Who. I've watched all of them, all the current ones. I don't I haven't watched any of the really old ones. So if you know about Doctor Who, this is the TARDIS. The drills, lots of black for that background. And then of course we have some blues and pinks and purples in it. It's a small 30 by 30. It only has 18 colors and they are numbers and letters. And I'm gonna show this to you. See, a one's a one, a two's a two. And I'm hoping this all comes out. I, I really do, because again, I, I, I like Doctor Who. So there's that one. And here's the next one that I'm gonna do. Again, I'm into the motivational stuff. I don't know, it seems like I keep finding motivational stuff. And I really like this one. This one is be kind, be amazing, and be grateful. I think that's a good rem reminder for everybody. I love this, but we are all amazing. I thought the colors and the butterflies were just beautiful. This is a 30 by 40, and we all know that it's not a 30 by 40 in the drill area. It's a 30 by 40 on the canvas size. And this one has 23 colors, DMC codes, and they all have uh, letters. So I like this. I think uh, Enza's Diamond Painting Gallery, she might have to do another Paint with Friends Empowerment Edition because I got a lot of canvases that could go for that now. Okay, so there's that one. And I'm just going to hold that up so that you can see it without, without so much glare. And the drills um, are beautiful again. Let me get you the, the colors. Start with there with the orange and yellows and lots of blues. I'll have to let you take a peek through here too. So those are very pretty. And again, I'll show you the drill field so you can see it. The canvases came kind of pretty beat up. Like look at this one. This one's pretty beat up. Some of the big ones were definitely very beat up, so I'm gonna to have to iron them. But I really like that one a lot. And 
I've got one more motivation. Well, it's kind of a, a holiday themed. If I can find where to open this thing. I tell you, sometimes I have the hardest time finding a spot to open them. And this is for the the fall season, maybe Thanksgiving, and this is Be Grateful. And you hold that up so that you can see it without the glare. And I love the purple. And you can hear my doggie. I know, go outside. She's looking at me like, who are you talking to? She does that every time. Every time that I am, that I'm here. So this is gonna be a fun one. This could be for Hoya Bella's uh, Paint with Friends, the Halloween and Fall Edition. If you're interested in a paint along with friends, Hoya Bella is the hostess for it, and I am her co-host. And it is open to anyone that wants to do it. You just need to have a Halloween or fall themed canvas. There's no size requirement. Um, so you could just email, or well, not, well, you could email me, or you could pop it in the comment, either me or I'll leave Hoya Bella's contact information too for her channel. And if you haven't seen her channel, you need to go. Um, she has some great stuff. She's got the cutest darn cats that you've ever seen. They're just so cute and they always like to jump up in the middle of a video. So we always tease her and say that we have a cat intermission. So these are the drills. So this one has 20 colors, 20 colors, DMC codes, and these are all in letters. And the drill field again is clear. And I think, at least just from my experience, the letters you're gonna be able to see just fine. Um, I, think, I think this is gonna turn out really cute. Okay, so there's that one. And I'm not certain about this one. I think this next one, I think I picked a small painting with too much detail. So if you're new to diamond painting, the bigger the size, the more detail you can get. And this one I think is beautiful but I'm not certain if the flowers are gonna come out as well. This is a 30 by 30, but I was thinking about doing it for Diamond Grandma's Under the Moon, because um, I thought it was really cute. So I don't know, we'll just, I'll just have to see on this. I'm not convinced, I'm not convinced the flowers are gonna turn out. I think they might be more blobby, but we'll just have to see. Again, 30 by 30, um, 18 colors, DMC codes, and um, all letters in the, in the key. Oh, I just noticed something about this. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Wait till, wait till I point this out. Let me get my pen. Look at their little tails. They make a heart. Isn't that cute? Their little tails make a heart. That is so adorable. I absolutely love this one. So I'm gonna bring this up again so that you can see the letters. <clears throat> it does look very clear, lots of color blocking. There is some confetti though, definitely some confetti, a lot of it in the flowers. So there's that one. <clears throat> oh, I didn't show you the drills. I'm sorry. I got, I got way ahead of myself, didn't I? So let me show you the colors. Some beautiful blues and purples and grays and greens. I like that purple and pink. That's pretty. There's more pink. And I don't know what color that greeny yellow is. 
Remember that. <clears throat> and you can kind of see it that way too. So these are very pretty. <clears throat> so those are my two cats under the moon. Now I've got my last two are bigger paintings. So let me get you these. Maybe if I can find the opening. Oh goodness, Teresa, you need to be able to open this. If I can't, I'm gonna have to cut it. Oh, nope, there it is. I found it. So here is this one. This is, it's big. It's a 40 by 80. So this is a big canvas. <clears throat> oh, that's interesting. They have it wrapped twice. Isn't that interesting? I don't think I've ever seen a canvas wrapped twice. And this goes with all my cat themes. I love cats. And this one is so pretty. I'm gonna need to come out. Oops, not in, Teresa. I need to go out. And I may have to go this way because it's so big. I'm gonna give you kind of a a uh, look this way and then I'm going to start at the top so you can see the beautiful flowers and see his beautiful eyes I want to come in hang on a second I want to come in really so you can see the eyes they're just really beautiful and I think we're going to be able to see that color and you're going to be able to see because again this is so big it's a huge canvas. You're gonna be able to see the detail in his nose and the nostril, the mouth. And I think we're gonna be able to see whiskers. Definitely the color definitions in all of this long hair through here and the coloring up on the top of his head. Um, so this is what's good when you can, when you go big because you really get that detail. So I'm gonna come out again, and again, I'm gonna start you at the top, and I'm gonna squish you down so you can see the whole thing, and these beautiful flowers at the bottom. So there he is in all his glory. And I know what, I'm gonna name this cat looking at him. My sister had a cat, it was, he was a Maine Coon, and um, his name was Crichton. It wasn't this color, he was a darker gray, but he reminds me of Crichton. So that's what I'm gonna call him. So I'm gonna leave it side, well, no, you need to see his, you need to see his whole face. That's as far out as I can get. So I'm gonna show you just his face for now. Now he has 23 colors. And these are all in letters. And I'm gonna straighten him out, and then I'm gonna, once I get him all straight, I'm gonna hang him in my closet. I had mentioned it in my whip and chat, I think, that the big canvases like this, I like to hang. I put them on skirt hangers. And this one, I for sure will iron too as well. I think it got a little, a little beat up. Yeah, a little beat up. But I sure think he is pretty. This might be one of my favorite cats. I think I like him as much as I like Larry, the colorful cat that I'm working on. So now he's all straightened out. 
and why I have him this way, I will bring up the legend so that you can see it. It's all letters. Oops, sorry, I dropped that accidentally. And I'll bring up that drill filled again. Look at that eye. Isn't his eye pretty? So pretty. And the colors here, the drills are all in these little Ziploc bags. And they are so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Yep, I love this one. So that's going to be Crichton. That's who that is going to be. And this next one is also a cat. I'm kind of in this cat theme. And this, again, is a very big canvas. So I'm going to leave this out. This is, oh, no, it's not that big. This is a 50 by 50. This is one of my favorite sizes. I like 50 by 50s. You can get a lot of detail in it um, without it being overwhelmingly big. So this is a kitten. I guess I'm gonna have to pull it out, sorry. Let's see if I can pull them out. I think we can get just about all of them in. I'll go from the top and then I'll just squish up a little bit so that you can see the bottom. You can just about see the whole thing. He just has, he's just big, very big. Okay, this one has numbers and letters. It goes from one through nine. One's a one, a two's a two. And then it goes A to O in the letters. I'm going to go ahead and show you the legend so that you can see that. And there's the thumbnail, but you don't really need to see the thumbnail because he's, he's so clear. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to get that extra, that extra light on. There's too much glare with it. This, I think, is going to be, again, because it's bigger and it doesn't have a lot of detail. You just have the one cat and the couple big flowers and the leaves. And then this must be a fence. So it's not really busy. So that's why it's gonna turn out clear. So remember, if you're new to diamond painting, the bigger you go, the better the detail you're gonna have. And try to pick paintings, at least in the beginning, that aren't super busy so that you're gonna get good detail. Like if this had six cats in it, or if it was smaller, it was a 30 by 40 and it had four or five cats and maybe a dog in it or something, all the, um, all the items that are in the painting are gonna be too, too small and you're not gonna get any detail. Oh, I keep hitting that. I'm sorry, that's a touch lamp. And I keep hitting it and turning it on. So this one, being a 50 by 50, I'll probably hang as well, because I haven't got one of the really big art dot portfolios. So I'm gonna go ahead and hang this one as well. Yeah, get all this out, I like this. He's pretty, I don't know what I'm gonna name this one. Maybe you can help me with that. Okay. And I didn't bring up the drill filled with this. There's the flowers. And I'll bring him up. Isn't he sweet? He's got sweet little eyes. And I like his little mouth. He looks like he's smiling, doesn't he? He's really cute. Now this one, again, is in the little Ziploc bags. Lots of pinks and greens. There's gonna be beige. And there's gonna be some black. Those are all the colors. So there's this little cat. Whoops, I'm dropping stuff off the table. 
So that is all that I have. I'm at 25 minutes, so we're gonna stop here with these and um, I will do a second part of this. But I, he's just so cute. I just wanna cuddle with a little kitten. So there's that little kitten. And then we have Crichton, that's what I'm calling this cat. And again, I'm gonna squish him all the way up so you can get one more look. I will put the links um, to all of these. Um, I won't put prices, because the prices I paid, you know, with Timu, prices change all the time. And then, more, I'm on a cat theme. And then there's the two cats in the moon with the flowers and their little tail that's in a heart. That's sweet. Like that. And then we have some of our motivational stuff. This is the Be Grateful. And this would be really good for any fall themed stuff that you want to have in the house. It's a 30 by 40, so it won't take too awfully long. I think the detail should be pretty good in this one. And then I've got, this is my other favorite that I really like. Uh, be kind, be amazing, and be grateful. So I like that one. And again, if you're any Doctor Who fans, this is supposed to be the TARDIS. Let's see if I can get some of the glare off. It's hard with all that black. So there's that one. And then my last little one was my little bird sitting on the books that I think is so sweet too. And again, I, I think I think it's gonna come out okay, even though it's only a 20 by 30. So that is that is it for this Timu haul this time. I will have more coming. Um, yeah, I've got lots of more stuff coming your way. I've got more whipping chats. Um, so if you like this content, uh, please consider subscribing. Really, I thank you for, for watching. I'm so appreciative of that. Uh, if you have any questions or you have any comments, please drop a comment uh, down below. Um, I do try to respond to all of them. Sometimes, again, it takes me a couple days to get through them because I'm getting a lot of comments lately. Um, and again, if you have questions, I'm more than happy to answer. At least I hope I can answer them for you. And that is all that I have for you today. You take care. Happy diamond painting. Remember, you're perfect exactly as you are. And I will see you on the next video. You take care, everybody. Bye-bye.